Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It is me, your boy, Cytrix, coming with you with another video of Splatoon 2. A tutorial video, that is. Now, you guys have seen my video on how to re-roll your items on Splatoon 2. Well, I figured that video was getting a little outdated because a lot of new things have arrived in Splatoon, how to do a lot of things like that. But I'll show you basically a new way and a more updated method of how to do that. Now, <clears throat> to re-roll or scrub your items, basically what you're going to need is to go to this little guy over here, for those of you who haven't played yet. Now, his name is Merch, and what you need to do is, to scrub your items and to re-roll your items, what you can do is scrub slots, right there. Now, what you do is select an item you re you just want to scrub. Let's see here. Um, not much items I have to scrub. Let's see. This is a bit embarrassing. Hold up. That'd be something here. Yeah, let's do this one. Now. Usually to scrub items he would charge you twenty he would charge you like twenty um thousand coins to do so. But in Splatfest, on the, if you get those t-shirts, he'll give you a special which allows you to to scrub your 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 Splatfest t-shirt for only two thousand. Now that's a good deal, but since there's no Splatfest yet, we'll just have to make do with this. So yeah, when you scrub your items he clears them up, and those little uh, ability chunks you have there, he'll, he'll give them to you so you can use them later. Now, let me show you... Yes, for the ability chunks, there are various methods. Now, let's say you're trying to make up a set, or at least trying to equip a new um, ability onto an item. Now, usually, there uh, would be to the requirement to at least put one of these things onto an item, is to at least have 10 for the minimum. Now if you have, want to have two of the same of the same ability on one set, then on one of your items, then they'll charge you 20. But if you want all three on all of your items, it will charge you 30. So if you say, let's say you chew for a shoe, then it will be, and to put all three of the slots on the same ability, it will cost you three, it will cost you 30 item, um, item chunks I mean, 30 ability chunks in order to actually equip all three of them. Now, that is a little difficult, depending on since you you know how expensive it will be to scrub items and basically how to do that. But there are a couple of me other methods how to do that. One, in Salmon Run, they offer you for the bonuses when you work for it. They'll offer you item ch ability chunks. I don't know why I keep saying item chunks. Um, yes, yeah, so ability. They'll offer you some ability chunks that'll add on to your collection. And another method I find a little useful. Sorry, um, is to re-roll your items. Now this is also a good ability. Now to re-roll your items, what you'll need is super sea snails. Like yeah, so basically. How you get Super Sea Snails is by winning Splatfests. If you make it far enough, then you'll be rewarded handsomely with a lot of Super Sea Snails. Also, if you reach to level 30 and up, and each level you keep co progressing onto, um, Judge, the, um, the little cat over there, um, I don't know, maybe Judge or Judd, yeah, Judd over there will give you reward you with another. Will give you one. Super Sea Snail for each one, that, for each level that you level up on. So, from 30 to 31, he will give you one Super Sea Snail, and 32, another Super Sea Snail. So basically, you don't really have to wait for Splatfests in order to get Super Sea Snails. But just don't go wasting them all in one go, because they're very scarce and very hard to come across now, now these days. And so, now, uh, with that, I will show you how to re-roll your items. It's basically like scrubbing your items, but you actually be replacing them with different abil with different abilities. So, if you re-roll an item, you'll still you will be able to change up your um the chunks. However, it, it works just like scrubbing, where 
if you re-roll your items, the ability chunks that was previously there will add onto the collection that you have. So basically, it's not really that great, uh, like scrubbing where you can just reset, if you want to reset your items and just get different ones, but it's very useful to have. Now, that's to find another example. Uh, again. Uh. I really don't want to upset any of my collections, what I'm going on so far with. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here's one. Reroll. And there you've got it. See? Simple. Now, if you go back there, you'll see that a lot of the a lot of the items, the item chunks are right now there. Like, I'm right now building up a good amount of a collection right here. So, basically, this is a handsome addition to my collector, my collection so far, but I'm still working very hard on it. So yeah, that's basically it. So, now you guys know how to reroll and scrub your items and use your ability chunks. So, if you find this tutorial useful, please give me a like Blum, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel for some more gaming content, and I'll be back with you guys for some more Splatoon 2 in the future, or other games. This has been Cytrix, and I'll see you guys next time when things get freaky.